wanted to leave a comment, uh, tell us where you're from. If you would like to tell us what your favorite song would be, we'll try and add that to our list. And also, if um, you'd like to share that with somebody, that would be really good, because maybe some other person this evening just needs that word of encouragement. This is a great old song that just tells us about victory that we have in Jesus. And if you don't know that, this would be a great time to get to know Jesus. Thank you.
songs, but we thought we'd choose one right out of the hymn book this evening that probably all the older people know, I don't know about the younger ones, but um, it just exalts the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you have the words with you, and if you wave your email, then this morning we sent you out a copy of all the words, and one of the things that we do is we put them in large print so that both you'll be able to read them and I'll be able to read them, uh, so hopefully we'll get them straight. So... Uh, this has a, a beautiful, beautiful song. Sometimes I think it should be an anthem because it has that kind of message to it. Listen to the words as well. Sing them with us.
beautiful old song, exalting the name of Jesus. Well, once again, we welcome all those that are joining us, wherever you may be. If you want to leave a comment, if you want to leave a special song that you'd like us to do, that would be, be wonderful. We'll try and do that. Different people have requested these songs. Carl had requested that first one and then Donna the second one, and uh, myself had chosen that one as one of our hymns. Um, if you can, just push the share button and that'll let some other people join in and enjoy the service as well. Uh, one, of the great, one of the great evangelists of all time died uh, this morning. His name was Louis Palau, and he's, he's nicknamed the Billy Graham of South America and had an incredible ministry down in the nations of South America. Uh, one of my good friends knew him fairly well and I've read about him most of my life, but tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, came to know the Lord through his ministry. So if you have a moment to just offer a word of prayer in regards to his family, his sons are carrying on his ministry, and they're based in Portland, Oregon. So uh, it's a wonderful thing to have a servant of the Lord to head off to glory. They're called generals of the faith. And so uh, our expression of condolences Love and appreciation go out to the family of Brother Lewis. This great old song says there's power in the blood, and if it wasn't for the power of the blood, that we would never be able to get to heaven. So thank God for that. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood of the Lamb. Instruments and sing along and clap along with us, that'd be great. 
There is power, power, wonderful power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, there is wonderful power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonderful power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power. complain, you know all of us older people complain that some of the newer choruses and whatever, they repeat them over and over and over. Well that's because you know, we used to have a habit of doing that and we might go on and sing that chorus like that for five or ten minutes yeah. and people be waving and praising the Lord and hallelujah and shouting, almost getting you know uncontrollable. <laughs> Can you imagine that as being a factor of life today? Uh, we still do uncontrollable. Uh, that that would be sort of exciting to see sometime now in the service where people really became enthused with the uh, the word of God and the songs of the of, of the church. Um, again, once in a while we do this name that tune feature. So uh, we've chosen a song now, and <clears throat> I don't know how many people that are listening right now, Sonia. So. Um. We have yeah, a good idea. We have got about 30 viewers here. So we got enough. I'm going to say the fifth person, the fifth person that this time, who tells us what this song is, we'll let them have a special booklet that we've written. Uh, many years ago, I wrote a book called, a booklet called, uh, Where Were You When the Lights Went Out? And it was just the possibility of the lights going out in uh, our homes and our cities and technically not being able to be reconnected again for a long, long, long time. And at the time, some people thought it was maybe a little delusionary, but with the events in the world going the way they are, it's possible that it could happen. So we'll send that booklet on to you, and many people have used it as a soul winning tool to uh, give it to other people and lead them to the Lord. And once we're finished with this, we'll have a few comments that Sonia is watching section for us. Okay, so the fifth person who tells us what this song is.
is a redeemer. And then we had my Jesus, I love thee. One, two, three, four, five Ruth would be Donna Wellum or Ruth Helson. Yeah, Ruth Helson. Ruth Helson? Yes. Okay, Ruth, we'll be sending you out a booklet. Uh, that's down in Tilsenburg, I believe. If, if you would send me by private message, don't do it on Facebook, but by private message um, or email, just send me your address. And then we'll send that booklet out uh, probably tomorrow morning. Nice to have you with us again, Ruth. How many others got it, uh, Sonia? Oh, they're like, um, that was a yeah, Ron McCracken said, there's a redeemer. Um, Sharon Sutton said, my Jesus, I love thee. Helen Keckney Priddle said, my Jesus, I love thee. Sharon Laika said, my precious redeemer. Ron Hughes, if ever I love thee. Ron... Ross Anderson, my Jesus, I love thee. Oh my, got a lot of folks. Ron got Hughes, that one right. my Jesus, I love thee. Yeah, and then Don Wellum, Jesus, it's now. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, lots of people were commenting. <laughs> sort of for children and uh, we, we, we went and worked at it and then we found out well it's really not for children it's actually for anybody and uh, we're going to just try a couple of verses you got your sheets of music there with you it just simply says Jesus loves even me real old old favorite I am so glad that our Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given Forget him and wander away. 
for our time this evening together again with our friends and Lord we pray that as many people tune in from so many different places both here in Ontario and other provinces and even other countries uh, either today or tomorrow or during the week I pray Lord that the power of these hymns and songs the, the doctrinal message the theological message will come right through into their hearts Pray, Lord, that if they don't know Christ as their Savior, some of them will accept you as their personal Savior. And for those, Lord, that are needing a healing touch in their bodies, we pray that you will reach down your hand like the great physician step into those rooms. We thank you, Lord, for your healing touch upon our, our sister Lynette in Barry, and pray that you'll continue to heal her body, Lord, after this knee surgery. We thank you, Lord, for many that have written in and mentioned their, their special mm -hmm. needs. And Lord, we know that you are the never-changing God. You can't change. You're always the same. And so we pray, Father, that you would meet the needs of your people in your own way. Give them, many of them, Lord, a miracle tonight. When they didn't believe it's possible, give them a miracle so that they might know that you're still God and you're still on the throne. We just praise and thank you for all that you're doing and for all that you've done. And we give you glory in Jesus' precious name we ask it. Amen. Amen. One, one last song that many of you know.
God bless you. Have a great week, and we'll see you again next Thursday evening. God bless you.